please click the thumbs up like and subscribe and the bell notification. Thank you. Please click the thumbs up like and subscribe and the bell notification. Thank you. Call and talk of the king, 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 Put up a canyon because we are, you, you, we are Yo, the word are mad. Agoneering. Agoneering. Agoneering to the flipping world. Hi. Raga Shanti are the mix of daddy. Hallelujah. Raga Shanti go on and on. Yes. Raga Shanti. So you know how you feel in this, right? And you know me have to listen to your program because you talk a crook on back a thing with the handle side of it. Check, 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 people big up on the self in our Friday, you know, out the call, out the call, wicked, may I tell you, out the call, but a, but a different level, may I tell you, uh, I can't see that something, because, I know it must cool, and, and let me see now, weather outside, 36 degrees, but feel like 20 here, true. It's true. It feel like in high twenties, it's true. So it may say 36, but it feel like in high twenties, it's true. Yo, nice wife, big up yourself, you know. Nice wife, big up yourself, big up yourself, nice wife, big up yourself. Okay. Uh, big up all who beard, still beard in high cool weather, you know, thing. You understand? Because we know how it go. When the time gets really, really cool, some people don't bother with a bearding something there. I'm going to just let go that and do everybody to feature the bathroom, right? In a cold time, enough people malice them bathroom. You understand? In a cold time, enough people start in a war with soap. You understand? In a cold time, enough people don't even want to touch them umfufa. Yeah, umfufa. I want it Saturday, December 17. It's Denver presents a pre-Christmas vibes. 200-15 Linden Boulevard, Queens, New York, 9 p.m. until you say when. Music by Road International, DJ Roy, Stretcher, Axe Steel, and the whole crew. At Denver, something like that. Yeah? Saturday, December 17. Right? And I'm saying, for buy out the bar, Road International, a player. You know, a DJ Roy, that and the whole crew and thing. And again, that day over Linden Boulevard, 200-15. 
And do remember a thing named uh, the captain's ball when Sherry S and Carl Knox are them are bringing. Carl Knox and Sherry S bring a thing called the captain's ball. Saturday, December 10. Altia Hewitt are perform hosted by my general TC who wear beer barrow clothes. Beer barrow clothes, but TC ever look good in them barrow clothes, so don't bad mind the thing. <laughs> that are Saturday, December 10th at the Diamond Renaissance Banquet Hall. The Diamond Renaissance Banquet Hall. Do remember, say Saturday, January 7th is all about Lanny G. I bring him annual black and white birthday celebration. The Stepper's Edition. Mad thing. Same place at the Diamond, the Diamond Renaissance Ball. 247-11 Francis Lewis Boulevard, Rosedale, New York. 247-11 Francis Boulevard, Rosedale, New York. And big up um, Street Hype, one of the sponsors and thing. Big up Street Hype. And of course, Music by Road International again, hosted by, you know, the best Barrow Close, somebody or the TC. Music by Dubmaster Chris also alongside Street Ruler, the King of Soul. So those are some little look of something we are going out there. People big up on the set, big up on the set, big up on the set. Right I know I'm under my goated soup, I'm under my goated soup. I want president to look for me right I know, you know, because the way my thing set right I know, you know, big things are going for me. Yeah, I'm run. Want to big up to Yard Style Restaurant over there, 105 on Flatlands in Brooklyn. Yard Style Restaurant, 105 on Flatlands in Brooklyn. Yard Style Restaurant over there, 105 on Flatlands in Brooklyn. Ragashanti, linky linky this. So you see me? But yeah, hear me right and I just want to send enough respect over to the people in my Spring Garden restaurant over there so on Springfield Boulevard. Because right now, me and I'm a goated soup and nobody can ever chat to me right now. Nobody can ever chat to me. The way I'm a thing well balanced up right now and I'm a goated soup and thing. You see it? My thing seal up and set right. You understand? All on the can do a bad mind me and thing and whatever and way, way, way. Big up all who warm and thing and big up all who come a foreigner and the electric blanket and all of them something there. Big up all who know about that something there when the time cool and you go under your blanket and initially your blanket cool. Yeah, that can, you know, that sometimes that, you know, the time cool and you jump under your blanket. You understand? And your blanket cool too and thing. That's something there. But just go on, Bill, man, because you know, say, it get warm up after a while. Don't. Large upon yourself, man. Everything is everything. People hear that one, you know. So that man, I know, him not too. A man, I know, not too. Oh, we're going to talk about the Mali thing from down at Jamaica, you know. We soon talk about that. Come you know. on, I want to call. Yes, Jamaican people who are listening right I know, I want to know. First of all, before me talk with the brother, I said, let me just say, I have been hearing about this Molly thing. Molly, 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 the drugs, Molly. I've been hearing about it for a while. About more than a year now, me I hear about it. And uh, me hear Jamaicans that talk about it. Right? Now, oh, I say big respect to you people who make me know, say, I hope you say stuff from Molly. Somebody else make me know, say, Chris Brown, latest song, something on it about Molly. He said something about Molly in you know, it or whatever. Now, what is this Molly thing, people? Me, first of all, I never really know what was going on with it and what it was or anything. See? So, a uh, uh, Wednesday guy in prison, I met me know, say, it's like the drugs, ecstasy. Now, I don't want to know why I can't say prezi, I take it. That's why prezi, no. I can't tell it's a prezi, don't take Molly. Well, I don't know if prezi have a woman near Molly. That would be a different thing, right? Because prezi now put him up on a Molly. Well, if I have a woman named Mali, I don't know about that part there, but the drugs, Mali. Press here, take your drugs near Mali. You ever take ecstasy yet? All right, good, good. So, when I ask people, a press make when one says like ecstasy. Now, since Wednesday, several hours and when we had a talk about it on Wednesday and it came up when um, Gucci man, I tell you about it, say it a go on with beer things down there in a Jamaica and thing and and apparently the prostitutes them love it because it can press it down, go and come back, you know. Oh. Cause the prostitutes them love it because it put them in a state where them can they believe um do them thing for a while and it no we are off and thing and whatever, which can't be good, but 
I just tell you where Gucci man did I explain Wednesday upon Raga Shanti Life and think upon the bridge 99 FM. And um but since then, you know, me, some people send me some other thing through. And um, one of my colleagues from Jamaica, um, Dr. Winston Delahe, he too was um, explaining it and, and, and um, letting us know that, uh, well, he was in the star, the article was in the star, and he was essentially explaining that um, it's very dangerous, well, <laughs> no surprise there, and that um, there is a problem with it in Jamaica, uh, and they have been getting um, a lot of people with it you know, who are addicted to it and who um, suffer all kind of ailments from it and overdose this and that and whatever and all these things. But he was explaining that it's like, it's like, it's ecstasy, but it's a stronger form of ecstasy. So what that mean people up here who are familiar with what ecstasy are going there, there, there are a couple of drugs up here where I wreak havoc in, a, in, a, in, a, in America, you know. Believe it or not, the opioid crisis is crazy. The, that, that's just painkiller drug, and that's a kill half enough people. Just want to remind you, what is referred to as the opioid crisis is essentially painkiller drugs, but they, those are so abused that they're killing our people left, right, and center. All right? So you have that. You have what is referred to as a methamphetamine, also that a kill half a whole heap of people, and. And then some people call, some people confuse. Present methamphetamine, meth different from ecstasy, right? A two different drug, them, right? Okay, right. And I just wanted to make sure, say, sometimes I know the same thing being referred to as different. And then there's ecstasy also. And um, there have a lot of problems with that up here, right? Uh, meth is really bad, I must admit. Meth is really bad. But the ecstasy is, um, is quite terrible also. And, uh, and apparently this molly now, which exists here in America too, and, and, and I've been seeing the videos of it, but for some reason I never made the connection between the videos that, that I'm seeing with the people who are taking molly up here and the people who are taking it in Jamaica, that it was the same thing. Because I've seen the video with people who strip themselves near kid I run up and down near kid and I do a kind of self-gratifying sexual acts to themselves or I run down somebody if you get it from them. And there's all these videos on social media and, and people say, yeah, the molly them take, and the molly them take, the molly. And I didn't know what the molly was. And lo and behold, they see a molly now, they are Jamaican, it's a reek Somebody sent me a video now with this white woman and at the heart I want to get to hear her. You see that video there, Prezi? White woman in at the heart I want to get to hear her. I wonder if I can call her. But the video out there anyway. Let me see. I, I, I forgot I wish for them saying. Um, hold on. Let me go. Let me go, me go ask him again. Like, um, the person who said, um, wait, a uh, which area this again? Me just want to make sure. So apparently, this white woman and me, this black Jamaican man, uh, 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 club, he must carry her home. And me don't know if I him give her the Mali or she did have the Mali or whatever, but she take the Mali and start real up on him in there. And he couldn't manage her. And she wanted to be something and wanted to be something because the Mali attacking her. Because as Gucci man explained and whatever, them say the Mali turn you on, you know, and make you get on, you know. Like the Mali make you want, you know, the Mali make you want, you know, make you want dilly dally man. And go on with the something with them. And things, see? So this man, I must carry this white man, you know, in the heart I want. All right, McCoy Lane in a Spanish town we hear. McCoy Lane over in a Spain town there in a Jamaica. So, you know what's so right there, so. At the heart of the Gideon there, so you see. And him, she must reel up on him in there. And then couldn't manage her, whatever, this and that and thing and whatever. And, and me, have, me have the video right here. The woman run out naked. 
strip off our clothes, near kidana. And they back and one car and wind up, wind up ourselves and wind up, wind up ourselves and the whole of the Jamaican people, not well, you know, the people in the neighborhood would come out and and attack and kind of calm her down and thing and whatever and can't calm her down and then call the brother and I say, yo, how are you let her out of the place? So come take her back in, man, and whatever, and then I give her back her clothes. And I say, near, near kid like the day she born in a straight up birthday suit, you know. Eh? Prezi, eh? I don't hear what you say. What you say? You see the video? Oh, hold on, I send it to you, man. Well, I'm going to send them something here in a prison, but you see, because I just want you to get the point about that one, yeah. You have certain video I'm going to send you, know, because it's actually illegal, you know, people. Um, people, did you know according to the law? Well, here in the, U in the U.S., it's, it's dependent on state law. But according to some state law, when you send porn videos, <laughs> worse if you are sending it to somebody who are next country or our next state, you actually traffic, what I'm saying, you're trafficking in, well, basically you're trafficking a porn, something like so, some, so, so now be careful with them something, you know. If you are traveling, you know, there's certain video them can see on your phone and turn your back and send it back to Jamaica where you come from, you know, because say, so and so and so, so on. If you're careful, all them something they want to send around and want to have in a phone and people can track on the IP address and say, you would come from and all these things. But anyway, so the woman there, they, they, I, I, I wind up herself naked, naked, and them gear her clothes. And them, you know, them don't know, me, me don't know, but them said, uh, the Mali did attack in her. So them not just like, going to a sense of what I go on. And again, I will leave a video, I will leave a video out the pan, in the internet. I will leave a video from up here and whatever. But apparently, Jamaica have some. Apparently, the, the, the thing down there. So anybody who know what go on and can give you some, uh, you know, a flex on that thing that make you know what go on with Mali or Jamaica and sitting, sitting, and apparently them are sing about it in a song and um, and then them ban it now. I mean, the Broadcasting Commission ban, you know, you can't sing about them something there and thing and whatever. Now, this thing is so serious that why me are telling me support the broadcasting commission. This at the same time, I am not aware of what the you know what the freedom of speech statutes are in Jamaica. I am not cognizant of that. I'm not an authority of that. But um, we have to be careful what we ban because sometimes you ban some things that sound easy for ban. But then you open a door and establish a precedent where other people can say, well, if you ban that, ban this, and thing and whatever. And then you have a problem like where Ron DeSantis are going with down in Florida, right? Where the Republicans them are going to Florida, them ban certain black books, ban certain black history books, them ban certain books where seek to correct um, you know, certain um, um, narratives that have been telling lies all this time and whatever. And you know, it's a dangerous door them open because then if we start banning them book they then probably we'll ban some of them book that will celebrate white supremacy, ban some of them book that we we tell certain lie and whatever, you know. But all kinda of interesting things are going right now in the world and you know, we we gone back to that thing you know with this and that a ban and all them something there, whatever. We have to be careful. But they, but if this Mali thing is as bad as when we are here it is we, I, I don't know. The authorities' hands are tied, and um, they have to do something about it, I guess. And so, but anyway, me just want to call in and tell me what, what really is going on in Jamaica with it. Again, the drug Mali, it's a version of ecstasy, but it's a concentrated, stronger form of ecstasy. And apparently, it is, um, it is quite pervasive in its use in Jamaica, and um, leading to all kinds of um, social maladies, so all kind of crazy behavior on the part of the people who are using it. And um, I, I just want to hear some more about it. Who know what Mali are going with a Jamaica? Just give you a call when the phone line open and uh, make we know. So just before we open the phone line, people in the ear that one, I know. So that man, I reach out to him, bridging them and thing, I ask him, bridging them some advice when him for do and sitting and sitting and. And invariably, you know, well, you know, some of them, some of them reach back to me. And so, here we are going. He was a church man, a God man, and thing, and whatever. And him, and him have a woman, and them plan to get married, right? 
So them plan to get married. But, you know, them they don't want to wait till they married before them start to have sex. And it look like them body call and them eyelid that ride them and thing and them start hook. Them start dugu dugu and do the something of them and thing and whatever. So they're having sex, right? And them, him, according to him, them feel a little bit guilty about it. But um, he, him don't cheat on her, she don't cheat on him. And him interpret it as a way of say, boy, me real, God, me really did want to start after. Him did want to start after they get married. But, um, you know, it never worked out that way. Then. So, basically for the record, him say, him feel guilty about him and him lady feel guilty about that, but them still a do it. So now, them start do it and thing and him say one time them a do it now and she get in her spirit. She get in her spirit, him say. And him, uh, him say, him stop and I ask her, what do her? And she has a boy, she does feel like the devil come home. <laughs> him say she says she feel the devil come over. The devil come over. And I need for prayer right now. So I'm say, yeah, 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 yeah. So the two of them pray. And pray out the devil out there because the devil come down upon her one time. The general has said, nah, the strength upon her. You know, the devil, she said, take her. And then, so, he said, well, then. <laughs> Sorry, me, I do a court to sit, me, I laugh out to sit. So, then, he said, when I'm done praying, he said, so, uh, what happened? Uh, what kind of feeling? And she said, that the devil take her over, man. And he said, what kind of feeling? It feel bad? You feel like he did that dead? She said, no. It felt really good. It felt really good, and she knew how the devil had taken her over and all these things. So he said, oh. So he said, he talk to him uncle about it because him uncle a deacon in a church. So he said, the uncle laugh and tell him, he said, boy, tap chat foolish. She didn't say, I come to you. I come to you. <laughs> oh God! He said, Uncle, tell him to tap chat foolish this boy. You know, see, I come your girl, I come. You know, see, I come your Mexico. You are going good, man. You are going good. So I say, Oh! He said, him say, him know about them something they already, you know. So, but him say, him never, him never know, say, at that she a feel, but he can say, she get in her spirit. I like it like the devil, because she a can them the devil in and she a ball on Jesus and a ball on God and all them something. That's all. But the uncle tell him, she a come, a come, she come, man. She, you know, well, fancy term. She had an orgasm. <laughs> all right. So, the, the, but the uncle tell him, don't worry yourself, man. Whatever you have to go and do it, man, because you are going good, man. Let's go and shell it, see him, you know. And think of whatever. So, you know, I juggle back with him, man, you know, and thing and boom, them are doing them thing again, and whatever, and... He might watch her and want to send her and that thing or whatever. And boom, she get to that spirit again. And him, him know that time and then wall her and thing. And him just, she just start by her glory. Jesus, hallelujah, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. And I'm here trembling under the strength of whatever. Him say, him not tap that time and send her and him. And she might know God and the blood of Jesus. Him, boom, and him must send it to her see her. We are part of her. She didn't find the blood of Jesus. And then I'll give it to her see her. We are thing. And the general said, him work until him pop off. And when he pop off, I don't know, she said, I'm not getting anything. Not getting anything. So him said, sit down down and I explain. And I said, no, man. Me talk to Uncle so and so whatever. Uncle said, you have an orgasm, orgasm, you have a man. I come here, come and whatever. And she said, no, but that is a so this a fee. So him said, you never have an orgasm. She said, no, because I want, I must have, I want somebody she have sex with before him and she only had it two times. And she said she never had nothing like that before. So I want somebody she sleep with before him, you know. And I want somebody is on a two times she and a person that have sex. So she, you know, this conservative, sheltered woman, yeah, she has no idea 
what it feels like to have an orgasm. So I feel she feel for her first orgasm now. And being a woman of God, and being a woman who is totally immersed in her faith and all these things that you know them people in you know, everything are God. It's a some God explanation. Everything is God. Them book them to it have something to do with God or Satan. You understand how some people is this. So when the feeling take her now and goody goody have no idea what this a feeling is and whatever. So she is experiencing some intense kind of no for those of you who know what having an orgasm is like, or ejaculating or what, for those of you who know these things, you know it is an intense, intense emotional, well, not just emotional, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a psycho, it's a, it's a, it's a psychophysical thing, you know, it's a, it's, it's a mind and body thing. And whatever, so just imagine that she has no idea what this is, and the first time she's experiencing it now, I think, I think so, I so good if, Right away, she said, them people eh, is either God or the devil. Everything is God or the devil. Something good happen, that is God. Something bad happen is the devil. It's just so them people eh, steer. That's why you hear them. Any little thing bad happen with them type of people, them say, you see, it's Satan strong, you know, Satan strong. Satan get blamed for everything that's bad, and God get credit for everything that's good, right? Them not really focus on them choices where they make. And them not re if them ignorant about something, them don't even know them ignorant about something because it's either you know or you don't know. So she a fear orgasm for the first time ever. Poor thing. And I know who I take her. And Goody just said, you know what this could have gone me? Well, I must the devil. And that Goody has said, I must the devil. Now, remember, you know, them already did feel. This is the thing, you know, this is the key thing. Them already did feel guilty about having sex before they married, right? But she did have sex two times already, you know, and him did have sex too, and whatever. But for them thing now, you know, them fear and them God or what, you know, and them something there, them for them, them never did want to have sex until they married. So, remain, so let's just imagine her in that mindset now, like, I'm doing something wrong. I shouldn't be having sex now because I'm not yet married. And think so she already entered. You know, she entered the activity with that preconceived um, understanding that she was about to um, engage in an activity that is profane in the eyes of the Lord or whatever. And then now she got experience a, a rotten orgasm and thing. Poor thing. She never she was thinking, she, I got to have power up and all these things are the devil. I take her over because she had something wrong and thing like that. And, and I saw good he got to start breathing the blood of Jesus when she had come. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, I want to be a thing she go on with. So I saw the general now. I tell chat to him, Uncle, I explain to her. And I said, No, be just cool, man. You know, say, you know, Uncle, tell me, man, I come here, come, man, and whatever. So, you know, you know, something we don't know. You must just go interpret it in the spirit and thing. You hear the problem now. Every time I have sex after that, anytime she have papa, she get in her spirit. Anytime she have papa, she get in her spirit. So, so, and, and I saw there, well, I saw it end up coming on to me because the meds is as this now. What do you mean she are getting her spirit? They don't know when people get in her spirit, I tell her she getting her spirit and she just, what she do? She just a scream and a ball out. Dog, listen. That is normal. No woman scream and ball out when they having an orgasm, when they are come. No woman them which part them there, them probably can't scream and ball out, but them will wall it down. But if them could have scream and ball out, them would have scream and ball out. Scream and ball out, nothing wrong with that. He responded, but no, but she had tremble and a shake. She just had tremble and a shake. Doggy, that a regular thing. Woman tremble and shake when them have them orgasm, when them a come. Yeah, but she just a ball up, oh God. And she has said, God, and she just step on God. Dog, eh? That a regular thing. Even secular woman, worldly and woman. He's Jamaican. Worldly and woman, secular woman and thing. Even woman who not go church at all. 
When them come, them steal ball for God. <laughs> when Percy Percy, you know that that's true, though, no? So them, them explain to him and think, I'm not really to have that experience something there, you know. And a man will do what I know the thing, and you know, you know, you know, the Italy power woman and all them something. Now. Young youth in that thing or whatever. So them will tell him, say, no, nah, man, I real. So he must say, for real? And I must say, yeah. So if she tremble, if she ball out, if she bring down God when she come, a regular something with that papa. Don't worry yourself, man. Just go and shell it, see him where and thing or whatever. And I must say, but she are getting her spirit though. She get it. I see when she gets in her spirit when she's in a church. So I said, that normal. And apparently everybody they pause up now. And I said, well, that no normal. If you if she actually are getting her spirit the same way. But you know, I was thinking about these people. And um, and this is just my theory on it. Given you know, the step by step, um, well, the investigatory steps taken. Oh, she did a ball out? Okay, that is normal. Don't worry about it. You're not doing anything wrong. Oh, she did a tremble and a shake thing? Oh, that is normal. Don't worry about it. She, she, that is not unusual. Don't worry. You have nothing to worry about. Oh, she was talking about God and all these things. That is normal. That is quite normal. Women do that all the time when they're coming, right? Then, but, oh God, 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 yes, you know, women do that all the time, right? But, this is just my intellectual query right now. And I want, I want the people in the church, please do not beat me. Please do not cuss me and say that I'm being blasphemous. No, again, I just the disclaimer. Disclaimer, I am asking your mercy and your latitude because you know they can't whack me up sometime or whatever. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. I know exactly what I do in media. I know how edgy my stuff is. I know how provocative and mis mischievous my stuff is. I am aware. Some of you know when they get me beat, when they take me beat, me sometimes answer out or sometimes joke it out and things. So I'm about to make a query, but I do not mean to be disrespectful to people of faith or anything. But my question is, given what I go on this, so, it seems to me that there's a striking similarity between, you know, what, you know, women, how women feel when they're getting in spirit and how they feel when they're having an orgasm. And I know many of you, in my opinion, wrongly believe that anything to do with sex is ungodly. I know many of you are ignorant to the fact that your discomfort and your ignorance and your fear and your awkwardness with matters relating to sex, you do not know how that is something learned from Western European culture, you, do, you don't know why you do that, right? So, you know, just ascribe it to the devil, right? I, I'm, I'm not getting in it, but you guys don't know how, you know, the hypocrisy of Western Europeans when them claim them believe in God and thing and their interpretation of the evils of the flesh and whatever, and how it was used as a controlling mechanism. You also do not know the way the patriarchy, where that when men realized the way how much they love women's vagina, they also felt the need to control women's vagina, right? Men, patriarchal Western society, the way them when they realize how weak them is to woman vagina, they ended up coming up with this mechanism to control women's vagina and to control women's source of pleasure. And that is why, for example, in some Middle Eastern cultures, they evolve female circumcision, which is literally is to cut off the woman's clitoris because the man them find out, say, that this was the source of pleasure. So they want to uno not understand them something, they may understand that. So uno don't understand enough of those things. Uno don't understand why when the white man act take over the black man and all these things, and him see the black man piece of penis and thing, 
how the white man became insecure and conditioned um, black people to be uncomfortable with their sexuality simultaneously promoting a thing in you know, their mind for the thing where the white man fear for them end up now a demonize that thing all under the rubric of something to do with God and whatever I am aware who don't understand those things right I am aware who don't understand those things that in many parts of the world even to this day the way people relate to sex and enjoy sex and the pleasures of sex it has nothing to do with you know um, theology and God and whatever no I understand that but just humor me for, for a bit because we're not one next time we can explain some of that to them. But what I'm saying here is, is it possible then that what um, some people feel in church when they are getting a spirit and that good, exhilarating, you know, amazingly freeing and liberating and ecstatic feeling that they, they get when they're in spirit? What if it's, you know, similar to, um, you know, was it actually similar to having an orgasm? I'm just wondering. You know, give us some of the parallels we have identified in this mix-up with this gentleman and him lady. Again, who felt guilty about having sex before marriage. And in my estimation, that guilt, you know, prompted the lady to interpret her first orgasm as some affirmation of, of some punishment of the guilty act that they are the, the, of, of the of the of the of the of the um of um the the, the wrong act that they're engaging in she immediately catch it the guilt just in her mind and she got experience this most unusual feeling she then in turn interpreted to mean that she is being punished by some spiritual entity because this feeling is just out of the world. So this is the punishment that she's experiencing for engaging in coitus. C-O-I-T-U-S. In sexual relations before marriage and whatever. And then obviously as I'm held on to it in some way psychologically to the point where anytime she come, poor thing, goody just I lose it and all these things. But is getting in spirit in church. For those of you who get in a spirit in a church and you also have had orgasm, are the feelings similar? I'm just curious. I'm just curious. I'm just asking. I'm not, I'm not being rude. I'm just genuinely asking. I, I've been known to ask bold questions and things like that. But um, yeah, there are some parallels there. There are some striking similarities there that leaves room for the question to be raised. You know, it, the question could be affirmed or it could be debunked, right? It could be it could be that, uh, 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 not, not so they're not even close. Or, uh, Raga, now that you think about it, there are some similarities, you know, but um, the source of the pleasure may not be the same, but the manifestation of the pleasure itself could indeed be considered quite similar. I'm just asking! Anyway, we're going to take a break right now, and as usual, I don't know call him about anything I don't want to call him about, and we chat about anything I want to chat about and sing, right? We're going to hold a break. We're soon forward! It's the Bridge 99 FM. How you deal with? Gonna leave. Raga Shanti Live. Raga Shanti Live. Raga Shanti Live. Open at the juggling people and I don't know say if you have a call from Jamaica. The number is 876 876-4996-876-676-4996. 676-4996 As usual, call about anything I want call about and talk up to something with them Or if you want to talk about anything I'm going to talk about at the beginning of the show Just make a link right here now 876-676-4996 876-676-4996 If you are called from New York Or anywhere in the United States or Canada The number is 888-5468742 
888-546-8742. Add a number that. And just before we proceed and we we'll wait for the call them come in. Just I'll give a look of prayer, right, all right. Almighty God, most heavenly Father, as we come to you in prayer right you now, we come to you and we bring to you some people who are in some significant, in a significant state of depression. God, they have no reason to be, to, to be depressed, but they are depressed nonetheless. God, them taking the thing way too far. We know they're taking the thing way too far, but because we don't want them to go mad and run out of the street in a car and go make truck lick them down, we ask you to intervene and help them. We ask you to intervene and anoint them, God. We ask you to intervene and protect them. We ask you to intervene and help them because most of them are idiots with what they are going with. We ask you to intervene and help them because the reason from the get-go was their choice and it's a simple choice and they're making it way too big a deal than it is. God, I speak of none other than the Jamaicans who were cheering for the Brazil team to win the World Cup. God, the Jamaicans who were cheering for the Brazil team to win the World Cup. God, you know some most Jamaicans, them are Waganis, and them are follow Brazil for a long time, and to the side lose right you now. No for them under all kind of depression, and I go on like them are idiot over foolishness. God touch them Put some sense in them Put some sensibleness in them Turn them round Make them forward and come back Into the land of the sane Into the land of the sensible These are the mercies we ask Help the Jamaican people Who are suffer from an Unwarranted and unnecessary Severe depression Because the Brazil team Lose Help them, Lord. Help them. Because them is a set of crosses. Amen. Um, to the four line we go. Good night. Hello. Yeah, man. Good night. Yeah. It's all this. You know, I first met him, yeah, man. That's called me Mac. I, 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 I you you sound like somebody who knew near Robert. Initially. No, I, no, I know him. I know him. I know him. I was. So, Mac, where you yeah. ask? Uh, well, I little news. Disturb me in a, in a past when you can have drum here, man. Because I mean, I say, I don't understand how you would stab a next youth and, and kill him and over a gathering and only get four four years and a couple of months, you know. Well, and a youth stab a next youth and kill him over a gathering? Yeah. Who did that wear the okay. gathering? The one we stab or the one we dead? I believe the one we dead, you know. So the one we dead did that wear the gathering and him dead? Yeah, man. Oh, so the, so the gathering obviously never protect him then? <laughs> right. But no, I just I just needed to understand that first. So what you say? I want them to fight over the gathering? No, tell me all this. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, no, or was it reported? No. Or was it reported? What was, what was it? What? No, I mean, I get a glimpse. Uh, like, like a little, like a little, you know, you're the news still. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, basically, like the headline still, so I never really get no details still, but eventually me say you get mostly four year, years and odd still. So me, me I wonder how that... And, well, and, I, well and I move her from the radio. Died. You're telling for turn off the radio or move her from it or something. Which we're not supposed to hear the radio in the background. You're, are you yeah. move her right, from it? it mm. You don't have to plug it. Just turn it off. You don't have to plug it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, man. You never plug it out. Yeah, man, I plug it out. The, it couldn't turn off. Yeah, man, but just you just rather plug it out than for turn it off. Yeah, because when you turn it off, it's still a bone current, don't. Um. Okay, there. That's one. Yeah, way to look at. Okay. Yeah, man. Oh, well, yes. on, well, on, well, on, well, on. let me see what somebody say. Yes, Raga, it happened in March. March in Trelawney High School, the goalkeeper got stabbed today by the other student who was one fighting him for the gathering 
it was a football player. Yes, it happened. And that you talk about? Yes. Boy, something, something similar to that. Okay, you know? okay. Well, we don't know. Well, I, okay. I must say two school youth, man. I must say two, two school two youth. Two school right. youth. All right. Listen yeah. up. And, you, and so you are calling because you are, you are a little bit confused. You think so that yeah, the sentence where him get the too small, four years. You think it's too small, right? <clears throat> remember, 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 say somebody died, you know, so how come you go give a youth where, 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 where have you say no right from wrong? I think four, four years and add. Well, you sir, know, let me just say that um, I know a little bit about this. I'm not an authority on it, but I know a little bit about this. And them have a saying in the law, every case turns on its particular set of facts. Okay? So, again, every case turns on its particular set of facts. So, while it is quite, it's a common thing that, um, you know, for sentences, for people to have um, displeasure with sentences, it, it's, also, it's also necessary to remind ourselves that um, the details of each case, collectively, they are so particular that you have to understand them, you know, specific to those details in terms of what the, um, the, the sentence is. So I don't know if the person, yeah, you know, played... Hold on. I don't know if the person played guilty. I don't know if that was a factor. Yeah, I don't know if yeah. the case was... I don't know if the case was weak to prove all the elements of um, whichever murder or manslaughter or whatever. I don't know if it was premeditated. I don't know if it was accidental. I don't know if it was deliberate. There's, there, there are all kinds of factors that could come into play yeah. that could have led to um, a reduction in the sentence, you know? So... I hear that the person plead, plead, guilt, plead guilty still. All right. So the person pled guilty. And, all right, and let's say... Is um the one they take out a knife and say, Oh, I got juki and whatever this and that. I'm, I'm making up something now. I'm just making up something. And yeah, say, I yeah, got yeah. juki. And then if the other one now rush over and say, Juke me now, juke me now, juke me now, juke me now. And then him go jump on the knife and whatever. Then, you know, when somebody, I think about and I must say, Well, to find him guilty, he would have had to attack the person. But even though he have the knife, he never attack the person. It's the other person come over to him. But he should have pulled the knife in the first place and thing. But he made a threat. But because the person came over and attacked him and thing or whatever, in response to him pulling the knife, and what, we have to go, that is, those are mitigating circumstances. And yeah, he never did really intentionally plan to kill the person. So we have to punish him. We have to get some punishment. But he never set out for murder the person, nor did he attack the person. These are, I'm just giving you, I'm making up something, but I'm giving you the yeah, type of deliberations that usually take place when they're doing these cases that after it is reported and the sentence is put out there, me and you, the reader, all we see is the sentence and we are thinking about, but it's murder. But again, you know, they, they, they may have a set of facts there that led to a justified reduction in the amount of years that he was sentenced to, supported by the prosecution and so forth. You know, there could be something like that. Yeah, and, but, but I'm saying still, you know, I do want an, a, 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 another, another, another case still. Yeah. Uh, that I heard, uh, like a lady. Yeah. A, a lady. Her son had died, got murdered or something like that. Yeah. And there was a phone the police wanted to 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 to, to just investigate the phone or whatever. Yeah. And like she got about two or three court orders to to turn over the phone, and she she still refused, and nothing come off it. Because she's married to a probably a high up, you know, right, high right, up, right, right, individual. You know, those individuals were actually control Jamaica and control the big business. But right. I'm saying, if it was just a little man like her, a little work foot individual, right, 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 they would even have to go to court. 
to, to run me through the phone or whatever. And use whatever evidence. Well, no, no, no well, you're, I don't know the details of this case either, but um, and just so you know, we have to break in two minutes. We have to break for, for you know, here in New York, we have to break for three minutes at the top of the hour, which is in two minutes. And um, I don't know the details of that case, but I totally agree with you with that. Unfortunately, justice in Jamaica is, um, it, it's not balanced. It's not even close to being balanced in terms of um, the punishment um, meted out, M-E-T-E-D, <coughs> meted out to um, people from lower socioeconomic background in comparison with people from high socioeconomic background. When I was in Jamaica and I was in jail, I tell people all the while, I me I go me did go jail three time. Me, me, I, me, me grew up in our neighborhood with a whole people go jail and whatever. This uh, uptown people not go jail at Jamaica. Uptown people not get charged for certain things and whatever. Yeah. And thing and whatever. So that is unfortunately that is a reality in Jamaica and, and, and there is corruption is rife through the system and thing. But listen, sir, we have to leave now, but I want to say to you, I, I, I appreciate you paying attention to these things. As a member of yeah, the citizenry, right? and um, you know, expressing your concerns, and this is the type of attitude that we need, you know, and hopefully, like you know, people like you, people will, you know, you know, do what you do, and who knows, perhaps in the future we will have um, a critical mass of people thinking like yeah, you man. do to hold the country accountable and to keep our eyes on what is happening in the in the in the judicial system. Okay, but we have to take a break now. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, what? man, big up yourself. Big All up. right, man, protect you. Where, where, where do you call from? Which area you call from? I know I say SP and Town. SP and Town, CM. All right, large yeah, up man, yourself, you know. Big. Protection and anti- yeah, everything. Man. All right, blessing. Bless you. All right, people, just want to remind you that on a Friday night, um, the broadcast is simulcast, right? It's on the bridge 99 FM like it is on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But on a Friday night, it's also on Irish Jam Radio here in New York City. And on Ira Jam Radio, we, uh, we broadcast on the 93.5 dial. And at the top of every hour, we have to break for three minutes and then return and we'll do a thing. So that is what is about to occur. We're going to break for three minutes. Hang tight. We'll be right back. Soon forward. Way oi. Maddy. Don't want to leave, don't want to go, we stay tuned to Bridge 99 Jamaica. Don't want to leave, we stay tuned, Bridge 99 Jamaica. Raga Shanti Live. Raga Shanti Live. Raga Shanti Live. You're back in the juggling, you know. And we just want to call him on the thing where you hear me talk about um, earlier when the show start or anything else we want to call him about again. I want to remind you that the number from um, the United States or Canada, uh, right here in New York City, the toll-free number is 888-546-8742. 888 888-546-8742. 8-7-4-2-8-8-8-5-4-6-8-7-4-2. The number from Jamaica is 866 Just call him about anything on the one, call him about top or anything on the one, top about. I think that are the flavor of the thing. You know, the cool Friday night up in New York, you can sit and sit and think. Big up all who have a live blanket. Big up all who have a live blanket. And think. Big up all who have somebody for spoon with and warm them up. Yeah. You don't have somebody for spoon with and warm them up. Big up all who know about that something. Yeah. You start to hug up the person who. You start to sleep. I hug up the person who you sleep with, but little after that, you have to leg up quick. You can't sleep so the whole night. Can't sleep so the whole night. You know, I know some people sleep so the whole night, do you know? I don't know, but uh, probably it's like, I don't know, music thing is like just a young people thing, but some people, some people can't just cuddle the whole night. The whole night, they might cuddle. I will start out with a cuddle, you know, but little after that, I have to kind of just sleep on my own, man. You understand? Me have to kind of, 
position my body for kind of sleep comfortable for my own. Let me tell you something, man. No found a woman who don't know a man go through with a cuddle thing the one who not lay down on the bed. You see the hand who not lay down on the bed. Papa Jesus. And you know, enough man feel pain and go through it and them don't talk. Sometimes the hand just numb up and can't move, you know. Let's say, tell me, I know where I talk about, man. Right? Enough man out there know where I talk about, right? You know, when we are cuddled with the woman, them. The hand where she are laid on pan and how you position it. Because you can't position it where she not laid on pan it, you know, but it not feel right. So if it feel right, it feel the kind of hand and arm, right? and she are laid on pan and the hand. And enough man just feel so them for all that discomfort. If you see, feel comfortable. Lay this. Who don't know where we are going to for you, you know? Who don't know where we are going to for you, you know? I hear the problem now, too. You see the hand way the pan and I like it. I'm gonna switch over pan the next hand enough because you see any side a couple cup cuddle pan, other side of them couple pan every night. Any side a couple cuddle pan, that is a cuddling side. Them don't change that side. And so the hand the hand they got to it. The hand they suffer. The hand they got to it and meet it. Sometimes the hand they number pan it can't move. Bigger pile of the sewage and them out there, we it for the woman, them way there, you know. When I lock it, when I can't turn there, I'm going to make one of right now and all these things. Start out like that. Listen to Mars Raga. Start out like that. That is, o that is okay. Start out like that. But after a while, just take time, ease her off, and draw out your hand and save your hand for some long term use. Hi! Hi! Give me that call right here, sir, President. I want to help you, sir. Up top. Yeah, hello. 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 Who did it? Somebody did it in a prison. Yeah, yeah. you're not here, man. Yeah, me, I hear you now. Where are you? Yeah, man. Bless up. Cool, no? I'm here again, man. I'm here again, man. Oh, do yeah, me. I'm I'm just... Are you just can't do me? Could just bring in somebody else now? Here. No feeling no here. Here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, bring in our next caller. Hello, yeah? Yeah. Yes, sir, man. Yeah, my day, you know, what you say? Yeah, man, I want to big up there. I'm, yo, a long time, I listen to you, I know. Cool, I'm no? try to call in more time. I can't, I can't reach there. Ah, I see the man, I can move a while ago, we result in you, I get in, I know. See, the good move. What you say? Yeah, man, I want to just um, touch upon certain certain topic where they are um uh chat board still. Yeah. Yeah we're gonna talk looking faster do we yeah, yeah. Where are you now? Yeah we're gonna talk looking faster do we yeah remember see I read the pan you know so you have to talk looking faster yeah <laughs> yeah but never expect to get through still because I'm not trying to try call there and can't get through. See that I'm, I'm 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 a first time caller. Blessing. So I said Yeah yeah, man. Yeah, respect my brother. Yeah. I don't think, I, I don't think I want to chat more still with the eye. You know, but the main thing is that, you know, all the things are going wrong in the world right now. Uh -huh. You know, from global warming to, you know, to, to, to the war in the Ukraine and Russia and them things that, yeah. you see what I said? Yeah. At the end of the time, you know, my brother, me, I hate to be so negative, but at the end of time, I go on right now in other world. You think it's the end of times now? Yeah, man, the end of time, shit. No, 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 I'm you can't say that word upon the radio, yeah? But um, what may, what, when you say the end of times, you mean that God is coming soon? That is how I learned it in church. That's what the end of times mean. So that you think God is coming soon? Well, we wouldn't say God I come soon still. No, but, but what does the end of what does the end of times mean? What does the end of times mean? End of time is the end of mankind. All right. So that's, what that's, is that's what that's is going to happen? It. What is the what is the end result of the end of times? What is going to happen? What does it mean then? I'm saying them. You know, total destruction is the only solution. 
You see what I said? Well, no, no, that is not what Bob meant, though. But, but, but when you said the end of times, what do you mean? What, what, what the whole world going to explode and everybody going dead? Or God going to come? Or the world have to join in a sea? And what, what does it mean? What, what does it mean? It needs cleansing. The world needs cleansing. Earth needs cleansing. No, 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 no. You, too you, much corruption. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. You just tell me what it needs, but you have to tell me what it is. I want you to tell me what the, what will happen. What is the cataclysmic event? You know that will be that will characterize the end of times. What is it? What is the big thing? That is it Armageddon? What what is going to happen? Holy holy life for the last. Ho, ho, ho. Holy for people are dead. Ho, 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 ho. 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 Earthquakes, tidal waves. Okay. You know, volcano in, in Hawaii. Yeah. All kind of, all kind of charismatic events is going to happen soon. Right. And, and the reason why think? these things will happen, you know, in relation to your um, designation of it as the end of time, the reason is what? Why? What? What is the reason? Corruption, okay. greed, greed. Okay. Them too greedy and evil in evil. the world right, right now. Right, right. brother. Them too greedy and evil. They want money. They want wealth. They want um, power. You see what I said? A whole heap of nastiness are going in the world right now. People not care about nobody. Okay. They not care about each other. All right, but can I no, suggest something? No, can, can I suggest something to you? You mind if I suggest something to you? Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, now. There's a lot of good things going on in the world. You know? There is a lot of good things going on in the world. One, for, for whatever reason it is, human beings, we don't give as much attention to good things as we do to bad things, right? You know, when we hear something good happen, we don't, we don't have no alarm about it. Soon as something bad happens, everybody will talk about it. That is one. Two, unfortunately, we have a machinery in the world right now that is functioning on a thing called um, AI, which is um, <laughs> it's, it's, I'm having a, a look of mind block. There you go. All right. And you know how that thing set up, you see, with social media is whatever you look at and pay attention to it gives you more of that because the people who control this machinery their objective is to keep you you know on their platform so that they can make all kinds of money from your interaction and one of the ways they find out that people they can do this is to give people you know to satisfy people's base needs so anything you look on on social media them flood you with same things like that so what, what happens is that people think what they're seeing on social media is reflective of what is dominating out, out in the world when it's not. It's just reflecting what social media is pummeling at you. And you find say, a lot of exactly. people now, they're seeing all this negativity and all this negativity is being reported and they've been flooded with all this negativity and they, and they incorrectly believe that that is what is um, characterizing the world in general. Now, that being said, it is the case that there is a lot going on in the world that is cause for concern. We, are, we came out of a pandemic. Um, there is a war going on over Ukraine. All kinds of stuff happening and things like that. But I, I submit to you, sir, yes. that there is a lot of good things out there going on. A whole lot of good things. That, 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 in my opinion, that. that they are far in excess of the bad things. They're just not reported as much, you know? So be careful. Oh, you, this is the end of times. And just so you know, throughout history, we have had um, multiple occasions where people have um, proclaimed that we are living in the end of times. And all no time can't end. Um, when the year 2000 was approaching, them say it was the end of time. A lot of churches preach and tell them, actually tell you when them say God will come and the earth will capsize. We, in an AT election, when we did, in an AT election at Jamaica, everybody did a preach at the end of time. There were people that did and all kind of violence. See, we're still there, right? So they, they have always had these um, different interpretations of if um, of global events and um, on, on the understanding that they are we living in the last days. We're living in the end of times and people get fatalistic yeah. and people get yeah. depressed and think yeah. when, you know, that is unwarranted. So I, I would suggest that you be a little bit careful yeah. with that. Yeah. Can I interject, my brother? All right, real um, quick, and then we go to somebody else here. Yeah. Yeah, man, quick, quick, quick. The, the, the 
social media thing is very dangerous, you know. Yes. For real. Indeed. For the Instagram, that's something that's deadly, man. Yeah. People can't, can't live without them phone. Yeah. And I understand you, ha- you have to have a phone nowadays, a cell phone. Yeah. All of something that is radiation. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's the next topic. I don't touch upon it too, but I can't, we're not going at it right now. Um, yeah, um, damn. We can't really. No, 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 you're right. Now we're going to take a next nice car. What is your name? What is your name, if you don't mind me asking you? Yeah, man, my name is Winston. Winston, Winston, you, you're somebody like, you see, you know, you're somebody you have to sit down and hold all the beat to juice and hold all some hours of reasoning and some meds and all them things. Your thing can't too <laughs> short, you know, because you see all the radiation <laughs> thing, all right, you know. You're, you're, you're spot on, you know. The radiation thing is so important, you know. When people answer them phone and thing and whatever, the, the, the amount of radiation with the phone are like out and, the, you know, there are all these doctors that say you're not supposed yeah. to keep the phone in your pocket because the radiation have affect your bone marrow. You touch one so serious topic, you know, Winston. Yeah. But anyway, you have got short my back and sit this in there, all right? No, 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 you have got short my back, Winston. You have got short No, my back. I have to bring in some other call. I hear do. You hear? Let me give some other people a run here. All right. All right. Now say a word, man. Respect. Go. Big and serious. Winston, I deal with them topic that with me, you know, that them something that me, you know. But if we keep up a little thing, uh, well, I don't know. What somebody say, let me see what somebody say right here. So let me see what somebody say. Um, wait there, wait there. How much minutes them say the cuddling for going for? When me, see, the natural reason say five to ten minutes a cuddling and she done. I agree. I agree, and, and and we probably should make this be a standard to couples out there. One and a cuddle at night time, five to ten minutes of cuddling. After ten minutes, either party has the right to separate the cuddling, to cease the cuddling and thing, because the man them and a suffer out there, right? So this is a woman, natural reason. She said five to ten minutes of cuddling is enough. President, I think that is a reasonable amount of cuddling for man and woman do night. Five to ten minutes worth of cuddling. The only way you cuddle a little longer. The only way you cuddle a little longer. Is unless you try to get the woman in her mood. For send her a little something and thing. And she go on like she wants to stop and up a thing. And you have to go and cuddle up and press up on her. And push up on her and things. Outside of that. Outside of that. Five to ten minutes. To the four lines we go. Good night. Hello. 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 Yeah. Yeah, go to man. Go to man, where you Papa? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where you? Where are 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 you? Yeah, go down in a Christiana. All right. Well, all yeah, right. So, so Monday, I'll get some mix up on there. Yeah, on. man. I have to talk to somebody Monday about this Molly thing where I take over Jamaica yeah, and thing yeah, like that. Yeah. All right? Yeah, okay. man. Yeah, 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 man. All right. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Give me that call, the present. Greetings. Hello, yeah, what well, I want? Hi. Yeah. Hi, Raga. Um, if you on speak, if, I'm, hold, on, I'm hold, on, hold 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 on. If you on, if you on speakerphone, Bluetooth or earpiece, could you come off, please? Oh, I'm sorry. I should know the rules. Okay, all I right. was looking at Facebook yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm noticing something that was really puzzling, which I saw the artist Sizzler burning his uh, awards. While this morning, Capleton said he's appreciative of the awards. Right. He took off the pictures of Khaled, DJ Khaled's son. Hold on, hold on, hold on, no, no, no. Be cl- like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Be clear, no. You're switching back to Sizzler now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're Sizzler talk- took off the mm-hmm. pictures of of um of the son and said children are innocent. Right. But it looked like um. He gave him like a backhanded compliment to say, even though you got the award um, and it's on your behalf, I have to put myself first in the light on the top. And then he squeezed um, some small writing 
on the bottom to give Sizzla um, acknowledgement. But it was like a backhanded compliment because he's like, out of all the things Jamaican artists have done for your career mm-hmm. and, and how Bujo has also helped you, is like you're disrespecting our culture, you're disrespecting Rastas. And, and so for that, mm-hmm. he's not going to put the awards up. So I was like, there's got to be more to it. He did say there is more to it, but he's like he was not forthcoming in trying to say what the other stuff was that he did to disrespect him. But then on the other hand, Capleton said, I'm appreciative. So mm-hmm. I was like, well, isn't he Rasta too? And then how is it like you're not uniting with with Sizzler with the same kind of, and he's like the same kind of award that he got too. So, uh, so, you, so, what you your, that? so, so, uh, what, what, what is your question? My question was, did you, I was asking it, did you see that? Did yeah. anybody bring that to your attention? No, no, I saw Everybody it. Uh, no, no, like, I saw it. So nobody didn't have to bring it to me. I, I saw it. I even post the Sizzler thing on my um, Instagram without making a comment. I just, well, I just said, well, this is Sizzler doing what he's doing, but, um, you know, so I saw it. So I know what happened. That thing, whatever. So, what what do you think? All right, I'm gonna hang up so you can talk. I don't know. I like. I just, I just feel like how um, Black Americans or Americans um, always say that there's like people always trying to get into their culture, and I think I heard Dame Dash, Jay Z's ex partner, always say culture vulture which you take the idea and then you run with it as if it, you're part of the culture, even though you're not the right. same flavor as right. us. You take our ideas and then you you blow it up as if it's yours. And then, you know, like a wagonist, of, of some degree. Right, right. And so I was like, I wonder if Khaled just came on the height of, yes, I'm down with the Rasta, yes, I'm down with Bujo. All right, let me ask you something. All right, um, yeah. DJ Khaled, when he does his production, he markets it that is his production, right? So you know that is what DJ yeah. Khaled does. Okay, all right, right. Um, what, what, he, what the way he does his thing is nothing new, you know. He has been, no. do, he has been doing this for. A long time, and DJ Khaled has been um, playing at fully loaded with Sharon Burke and them from Donkey years from him did Slim and yes, Margaret, I, know, right? I know her very all right. well. And him did Cool yeah. and all them something there, whatever, right? So yeah, the way the way he has set up his business model, he makes a production and him bringing people and them do it, but he market it like he is the brand, right? So he as yeah, a, but hold on, hold on, hold on before we get to it. So he has a right to define his product the way he wants to. He also, the people who come in and do the, 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 the thing with him, they also have a choice whether or not they are going to go and be a part of the way he, he um, designs his product. Now, if it is the case, that DJ Khaled had said to Buju, Capleton, Sizzler, and all these Jamaican artists, Bounty, Movado, and thing where you If it is a case that um, they had worked out something where they say, in terms of marketing and promotion, we want equal representation, or we want so-and-so, or whatever, and then DJ Khaled reneged on that understanding, then they have a case against DJ Khaled. But if DJ Khaled just had do what DJ Khaled do, and DJ Khaled say, I, am, I will pay you such and such amount of money for you to do this on a production that I'm doing. And if me and if you go do it, and think, you made a choice to go and be a part of that. Right? Now, mm-hmm. it gets a little bit ticklish because... This thing is multi-layered, right? And I, I mean, I'm not going to get cussing for this, but this is just my opinion. You do have culture vultures where them say people come and appropriate your culture and they make profit off it and whatever, and then they ignore you and whatever. 
and the, and dancehall has always had some little problem there. The same thing happened with the versus thing, and they have always uh, minimized um, the dancehall artists, them and support and all of that. So there, there's some, you know, there is some on one side there is some um, credibility to some of those um, criticism. On the other side, and I want you to listen to me careful now. There is a thing with some people when they somebody who appears to have more than them or somebody who appears to can reward them for more or if they affiliate with that person they determine that they will get some benefit from association with that person so they will go they will choose to go you know and um do things with that person or that entity or that institution right then after the thing succeed and do well now they start to think that they should get more recognition from it when the people them are run them thing that way from dying kingdom come and it is your choice where you want to be a part of it so you have some people them them did happy for come in you know when them just are come in you know and this is not just with dj Khaled and sizzler it's just a regular thing in life you have some people we see somebody, you know, that the person don't even call them, you know, them see the person and just go associate with the person, you know, because they can get something from it. They will benefit from it. And then the person just say, all right, come in. Since you want to come in, right, 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 do it. And if something shut off now, them, uh, them start things, say, at them make the thing shut. At them fear run the thing now. I mean, I get the recognition when I forget and all them something because me and Sizzler, if you notice when Sizzler burn the thing, then we make some strong talk. Sizzler, I say, I imbus DJ Colin. I feel so. You what? I feel so. I, I feel so. No, no, I'm I feel, sure. No, no, hold and on, I hold had, on. And I had, a, I had a debate. No, no, I am sure Sizzler 100% believe that. But what I'm saying to you, these types of um, stories and things, they're replete right throughout the industry. Everybody at them first bust that person, they at them this and that. And me, I tell you, and somebody who grew up in it. A great many wars start with this and whatever. A whole heap of a little word. I am sure if you talk to Khaled and Khaled talk, 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 tell you some, something where I come from right now. It's a different story from Sizzler. But if you talk to Sizzler, Sizzler go say I imbust him. Then you talk to another DJ, they go say I, I them bust Khaled and whatever. But at the end of the day, if you feel so about it, then don't do nothing with Khaled then. It's that simple, you know. Don't don't take Khalid money. Don't take Khalid money. Don't go work always, with Khalid. I don't think he was never. I don't think. I don't think Khalid was um, at the height of his career without a lot of Caribbean artists. And I think now that Flower Gun has won, I think the biggest settlement in history for. Uh, borrowing, although Caribbeans have been known to borrow, but there's nothing to gain from that because if you sue them, there's nothing to gain from that. But um, all the years of America and other people taking and sampling, I had a debate with somebody who tells me, he's American, tells me hip-hop is bigger than reggae. And that's not true. And I showed him why it's not bigger than hip-hop. I said to him, a lot of the 80s, um, and the 90s rappers are Caribbean. 90% of them are from some form of the Caribbean island. And then that just kind of shut up the argument there. Why is hip-hop so popular? I don't know. Uh, but listen, darling, 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 reggae, hold on, hold on. Darling, you, you, the, the subject matter you're getting into is um, it's just so complicated. I have a whole heap of layers to it and thing. But let me just say to you, it's like, a lot of, you say, all you say, 90% of the hip hop, that is not true, darling. I'm telling you, it's not true. Right? I'm just saying, like the 80s, the <laughs> no, 80s, the I, 80s. No, no, DJs I know. Hold on, a lot of them hold have on, hold Caribbean on. heritage. A lot, yes, some have Caribbean heritage. Big, small, have Jamaican parents, and all. But to say 90%, it, it's a gross exaggeration in terms of hip hop artists. And it, um, it, 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 but you see, I don't want to get into. All I'm saying is um, Sizzler is entitled to his opinion and whatever. And um, 
and Sisla consistently, he has a signature way of expressing himself about things and you know, and um Sisla he has a particular personality traits that are quite consistent with um what he did and he's entitled to his opinion and Sisla may know things where me no know and you no know whatever where confirm where I say. At the same time, right. I don't think there's anything wrong with Capleton again on his side to say perhaps Capleton is like, yo, DJ Khaled is cool. Um my engagement on this thing was was you know, I was just one of several artists and um oh it's actually quite normal for them to to put um you know, you know, in terms of when you're making these His pla face plastered all over it. Yes. And then just give a little acknowledgement on the bottom. I know, but is is DJ Khaled work so him can if somebody if you are building a house and you ask somebody for come help you build the house and then you contract them and you pay them and when you done you brand the house. This is my house and you put up your thing and whatever this and that. I mean, really. Because it's your house. You committed your resources to it. It's your concept, your idea. You hire somebody for do it, right? Do the person who them hire for do it, who was very instrumental in building the house, do they have a right to demand um, brand recognition for the person who, who, who built the house? Yeah, but is he going to put now a big flyer, a big poster-sized flyer of I am the builder all over my lawn? No, no, it, he never said I am the builder. Say, it if said it wasn't his, for me? No, it says it's his production. It's, he's the producer. He can do what he wants with it. That is what I'm telling you. And it is, and then it's the artist's choice now to say, I don't like what that producer do in terms of how they market the product after they work with artists. So I'm not going to work with them. It's that simple. And but what I'm saying is that the producer has a right. Privy to see. Puff Daddy did in a all a biggie small video them and people say why am I fi in the video them or whatever. Him the the producer. If him want going at the video, I'm going at the video. Yeah. Another, another, know. another producer. Hold on, you already know that's a whole other. No, no, no. Hold on, no, no. I'm just nothing. saying. I'm just saying. Somebody else, Chris Blackwell, work with Bob Marley when Bob Marley did a rise and whatever and thing. Chris Blackwell never had nothing to do with Bob Marley because that is how he chose to work. So it's the artist's choice, mm. right? But the. DJ Khaled have a right for brand himself or him want brand himself. Jamaican artists now, them have a right not to work with DJ Khaled if them don't want to. And DJ Khaled can't upset if a man say, no, I'm going to prefer, if me works a hard pan a thing, I'm going to prefer to have my picture upon it too. It can't just be you and your son and whatever. I'm not about to work with you again. And you support a person that just as well. And if Khaled can't understand that, you don't Khaled. But what I'm saying, it is Khaled's product. A theme house, a theme something. He can do whatever he want with it. Oh, the, the if you don't want to be a part of it, that thing, whatever. The... When, when other, all right, put it this way. Other people work with Sizzler. No other people work. Bobby Digital and them work with Sizzler. Them do a whole heap of the work. Sizzler just the artist. Them do most of the work on them something. There. And it's Sizzler alone. We sit on the album them. Because mm -hmm. that producer, I saw them work. Them no one depend on nothing, a brand with nothing. Them brand the artist. So I don't know if I choose Sizzler like used to Khaled that. Because is all about hype, he would not be in his, in his realm to be like, okay, I'm just going to be a little bit in the background and give Well, if that Sizzler is what them think, then the don't thing. work with Khaled then. It's that simple. Yeah. Just don't work with him I then. So. I guess so. Right. Khaled, you're right. Khaled, so, yeah. Khaled has a flair and a flash about him. Yeah, he likes to be, he's, he's a part two of Puffy. They have to be seen and heard. Well, you just can't do something for somebody and then just stand by the sideline and just be like, that's my work. But you got to do on the stage, no, but well, in no, the well, video. No, well, no, all right then. You see what you are said about Sizzler? You see what you are said about Khaled? You're frightened if you know what people say about Sizzler too with that. In terms of who they run him and how Sizzler conduct himself around him. 
and we do it, we do it even a goddess, right? Some of them artists or whatever, mm-hmm. when them with for them entourage and people that work with them and them something there. N- don't stop the beat and thing. Bounty killer bust the most artists of Jamaica. And at the same time, right, and he's well, behind uh, the scenes. Well, and he's comfortable uh, with that. Behind the scene, what? Not for the artist them about to follow with them. So bounty, he will bust the artist them, but him still have to get prominence with this. I'm just saying there's all these disagreements and whatever and who thinks and them deserve to be put up here and whatever and all them something there and whatever. So I would just urge you to be a little bit careful because some of the people um, who you who accuse people of this and that. Me can't tell you. Me see with my one. Nobody not have to tell me. A decades me in this. Me see them do over and over and over and over again. Me see them do the same thing to people around them. The same thing to mm. I even worse, beat all people and all them something. There. Me me see me an artist I said this and that about college right now. When me see them beat people and things, don't walk in front of me. We are walking in front of the basketball. <laughs> me see that. Me see that. Me see that. <laughs> Beat up people wow. around them wow. who just who admire them and just where you walk in front of the bathroom. When me say hype, me mean hype. But me don't want to go yeah. down this and whatever. You understand? Because when me chat them out, them run up them out for me and them talk all kind of things and whatever. And me kind of love them up. But what I'm saying to you, darling, be careful. Enough okay. of the people who you hear a talk and whatever this and that. They are projecting. Because they're either the same or worse of what they're accusing others of. And me, I tell you, can I miss it. And me see them do it worse than when they accuse people of. Yeah? And okay. when we say worse, we Fair mean enough. worse in terms of being exploitative, in terms of being unnecessarily violent, in terms of just like uh, uh, engaging in this type of hyperbolic type of thing, you know, in terms of self-definition and just feeling that them are king and them they turn top of the world and all these things or whatever. You hear? And, until, they're, until they're not king anymore. Exactly. So, you know. Okay. All right? Now, say our blessings. You hear? Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, uh, Raga. Yeah, man. We're going to hold a break. We're soon forward. Decades of hits from the classics to current tracks. You'll find it all on the Bridge 99 FM, the station for everyone. New style, new flow, the bridge, the bridge 99 FM to the world. This is Diane Store, and you're listening to my dad, the awesome Raga Shanti on Bridge 99 FM. Back in at the juggling Raga Shanti live in our ears as we are right here on the Bridge 99 FM every Monday, every Wednesday, every Friday from 10 p.m. until midnight. Again, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays on the Bridge 99 FM in Jamaica from 10 p.m. until midnight. On a Friday, the Friday broadcast is simulcast both on the Bridge 99 FM and on our Jam Radio as it is right now. And and um, you don't know at the same 10 to 12 right you now in a this. Um, are we winning now? Daylight saving time at Eastern Standard. Are we trying now, Prezi? Prezi, are we trying now? Winning now? Dirty man, Prezi, are we trying winning now? Eh? Prezi, tip me out. Hello, good night. Hello. Hello. Yeah, man. Yeah. You can hear me now? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. The thing with this sizzler. No, I seen something come up in the WhatsApp group and everybody had talked about it and so far from what me I hear the problem is because them say on the track where Sizzler did for um Kali, them say there's a um L G B whatever you want to call them artists who do what do, do wanna up them. And you know the Rastafarians stay with that kind of group there. Are you saying that um so, you have re- get, gotten reports that the track where probably something was Sizzler do, right? There's an LGBTQ artist there also. Yeah, on the track doing the hook. Because remember, this happened before the Sizzler when Sizzler do a, 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 a part and then, you know, in Senate and then they put Foxy Brown and Foxy Brown do something called, you know. No, 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 no. That is how them do. That is how them do. Them, them, them do different, different parts. And, um, and the producer the, the, um, um, determines and decides the final compilation and the final arrangement and thing for it and things. So, indeed, the weird that model of recording 
an artist just a work with a producer, you know, but the artist not really know what the end product is going to be and who else is going to depend on it, right? So you are saying that yes, so since that do that and then in the end one LGBTQ artist is depend that is what you're saying? Yes, them do them do them do them do a hook on it, and I guess Sizzla hear it and didn't like it because in real life uh, it's one of them people there, uh, and you know more time you don't even want to discuss because you know more time them people there uh, put. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's be clear. This is something you heard, right? So there is well, no. Well, it's something them them dropping up. It's something them dropped on the WhatsApp group from from one of the engineer right on a YouTube. I mean, I, I didn't I didn't, I didn't press play for here, but me hear the people. No, no, no. Just but, but just no, but um, for the purposes of radio, this is something where you yeah, just get in a year WhatsApp. Hold on, hold on, I'm hold on. Hold on. I'm here. Right, you're here. I just want to be clear for radio. That is what we're saying, right? There's a game that is. There's a, a, a legal game that is played here also, and even though I hear me go on with my, my antics, and my, 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 I know I do. So I just want to be clear that um, you're alleging, right? Yeah. You are uh, alleging. Yeah, I didn't, you know, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't play, I didn't play the YouTube clip of this is the engineer, but me hear the people them are coming from that. No, no, hold on, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are alleging, so this is what you call hearsay, right? Yeah. Okay. You have. Not, I just want to be. I want that to be established right now. Okay. So, so you're saying, well, you know, the, the allegations are that Sizzla may have heard a hook on the track, and that hook, the source of that, could have been from somebody who is of an LGBTQ sexual orientation, and that Sizzla would have um, interpreted that as a disrespect to Rasta. So. Um, possibly, you know, if what you're saying is true, then that will add another element to the story. Okay. I, I, I don't know. Mm. I don't know nothing about that. So, for the record, okay? Yeah, because I see, 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 see it dropping out on WhatsApp group where there's an engineer talk about it and I didn't press play on it, but I see, see the people come comment and say, this makes sense. All right, sir, you, you, I don't, you, you're not aware that you're doing several but things. Like, like, like no, 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 like no, 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 but stop, 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 stop. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Disclaimer, the caller here said, Sizzler engineer drop a specific type of content in a WhatsApp. The Bridge 99 FM and Irish Jam Radio, in no way he's saying this is true, nor we're saying it is false. <laughs> And we have no way to ascertain or determine at this moment if it is true for just for legal purposes. Um, we just want to be clear on that, that this broadcast is not saying that Sizzler's engineer did exactly what this caller exactly. said that he did. So, and, um, and if you don't mind, may I forgot, you see them type of conversation, you know, they could be subject to all sorts of litigation that I have to protect the station and myself with. So if you don't mind, me no one really going at anything, you know. No, 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 more about that. Yeah, yeah, you know. So, you know, more about that. Yeah, but yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a YouTube thing, them drop. This is an engineer. I thought about it. I didn't press the tape on it. Well, you, know, you still the cool it. You still the it. it. Cool, no, man. But me, 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 oh, yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's true because I didn't play it to say it's true. Exactly, you know? exactly, exactly. All right, then. Blessings, here, sir. So, we overstand, because I know all things are. So, when you get set, set on the radio, yeah. they take out of a portion of the people on the radio get in trouble for it. So, I know that. I know ah, that. Ah, exactly, exactly. All right, then. <laughs> all right, my general. Let's see how we're here. Yeah, Bless man. So, we yeah. overstand. We overstand everything about the radio. All know, right. Some people just don't overstand anything. That's why I said, don't quote me upon it. But I just said, I just hear. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right, cool. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Respect. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, cool, cool. Um, Prezi, hang up this seminar. Okay, I just want to remind you people um, that the caller just now is saying here. So that by itself is, is hearsay. And again, it was stated here. And with these things, they can... They have the potential to get Jamaican. A lot of on on know. You see, the word "mucky" is actually Jamaican for murky. You know, 
I know said no phone and never know that. Don't and I never know that. Don't and I never know that. But anyway, when we say mucky, it's um it's actually Jamaican for murky. And th these things have a way they, 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 they have the potential, you know, potentially you know, get murky and things like that. Or mucky, whichever you prefer. And um that's why he, for years ago, I moved from a certain type of things or whatever. Cause I just said, joke me, give me an idiot. Oh, me an idiot, me is a joker and an idiot. So for the record, me is a joker and me is an idiot. Right? I engage in parody. I engage in exaggerations for humor. Like we hear me talk about the Anna or whatever. That is what I do. Okay, for the record. All right, good, good. Next call, hello. Sir, no, I they are give thanks, you know, what I say? Hey, um. You know, say you have the radio play around there, you have to turn it off or move it from it quick, here. Yeah? All right, may I move away? Yeah, all right. Um, you, 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 you stay overseas and listen to um, Carlin show sometimes? Rarely, rarely, rarely. Because I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm busy during the days. I'm, I'm really, really busy with work, you know? Oh. Uh. Why? Uh, Robert, Robert, calling what? Call, call up show one night and he must have, he must have misbehaved, you know? Him, him calling what? Robert, call him, call, 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 call him show the other night and he must have, he must have on his misbehavior. Oh, 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 call him show, yeah, talk about, I think you talk about like the talk show them like, you know, the other real oh. estate. So, uh, so what, him calling, but call him show, him never want to give out him number? No, no, he never no, 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 number this time. Oh man, I bet you no man in listening. You know. Robert, I listen right now, you know. <laughs> okay. Robert, I listen right now. So Robert, here when we take it to him and whatever. And Robert knows that the ban on for put pan him right you now and whatever. You understand? Hey. So, but him behave hey. himself. Him calling, calling, sure and behave himself. Yeah, and call, calling, calling, say that, that, that's the way. That's, that's the way. He, 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 that's, that's the kind of attitude. He's to show. He's telling me. He's telling me call the show whenever he calls. You see. it? You see? Mm. So he behave himself mm. and call him, basically tell him, say, so you for conduct yourself and stop right. the other fool it is, but you always want to leave your number for, for, for a look woman. Because him thinks mm. that the station them exists for him, look woman upon them or whatever. And so you see, say, for calling to say that, for calling to say that, it means that she's contrasting it with something when they do before. That means him did have right. misbehave before. Right? Right, right? So let us see if him can be consistent with that because. I'm lucky you call in and say that, you know. Because me did a yeah. set fee, you know. When him call him, I bought me, did not about him. As soon as me hear me, I got about him, you know. Okay. Him, him, yeah. And him see him for thank you, you know, because I set me, I set for Robert, you know. And I come back, I said, don't call back this station. You, I bought me, I got about him, you know. Okay. It was this course, I would say, yeah, you ban him, Raga. I mean, I got about him. What? Yeah. So I'm lucky, I'm lucky you call in and give him a look. You call in and talk about when you call with Carleen. Carleen and Carleen. Okay, right, so, so I'm lucky. I'm get where they saw him. Get a look of lie right this one thing. Just a look of lie, but you can't trust him. Because he's not a man okay. of him word. He's not a man of him uh, word. Him shame, him, him make God shame him. Yeah. Okay. Robert make God, you know, upset with him because God like people who they make people at them word, don't it? If you say you're going to do something right. and you're going to stop do something, don't it? Right, and right, he has right. not been consistent, so God may strike him with a lightning and whatever. I may, I may make him buck him foot or something, and thing. make him go on here. Yeah? Mm. <laughs> All right, but thank, uh, uh, thanks for that update on him. All right, what we need for is sizzle and 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 and, and the mix up thing that we me and some cut up one cut up one one plaque where you get. No, it's a whole it's a whole heap of something, and thing. Me not, me not, you know, and you know, me not really want. I will leave us up. Do a song, him, him do a song with an artist. Um, and, and the artist wants to put him name. Fine, 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 fine in, in, in the wording. And because my name is a little bit for the wording, man, 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 like say, what, what, what kind of thing that? Okay, he's supposed to put the word big that can, easy, that can be easily read. You uh, understand? Well, apparently there's more to it than that. Yeah? More to it? Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right. I will say, take care. Yeah, man, big up yourself. All right, and to all of the members, them, um, <laughs> Jack, big up yourself. To all of the members, the Ragashanti TV members over YouTube, remember tomorrow night 
8 o'clock, our members only party, right? Saturday, tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, online, our members only party, right? And that those are for all who are members of Ragashanti TV, my channel over YouTube. Remember, I said tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, our members only party. Tomorrow night. Jack, Mr. Say, I go like you know, I want come. Jack, you subscribe to Ragashanti TV. Are you a member of Ragashanti TV? Not subscribe. Subscribe is free. Jack, are you a member of Ragashanti TV? I need to know, you know. But Jack, you know what? Hey, Jack, you know what? You're going like you want to go around the thing, you know. Calabar, we say, you know. Okay. If I want barman, try next barman, a Calabar, we say. Big party tomorrow night. Members only party for all, you know, well, for the Tam Fam Platinum and the Tam Fam Diamond. Members, again, Tam Fam Platinum and Tam Fam Diamond. Members, um, tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Members only party over Ragashanti TV and thing. And whatever, I want to just come in. I want to don't know, say, at the holiday party, be a things, BYOB, bring your own bottle, right? You know, go in the pan of Zoom and think I'm going to ask, wanna drink, wanna sip. If you have sip water, you have sip water. Only can we on a party close, see them we even do a Zoom and all these things. Only can set up on a, on a disco light and do on one and do a nice it up and thing. Right, we are gonna have a nice little time. Anything you want to show up on the Zoom if you want to come to the party, but don't turn on your Zoom because you don't want nobody to see you. That is fine, that is fine. Whether you want to come to the party or not, your choice. If you don't want to come, you don't come. But if you come and you don't want to show your picture and thing and your video, that's cool and whatever. Total freedom and things. So, eight o'clock. And for those of you who want to join, just send me a text if you want to join. And thing, send it to um, 929 400 1249. 929 400 1249. 929 400 1249. Or you can email me at ragashanti at gmail.com. Ragashanti at gmail.com. Ragashanti at gmail.com. And remember that spells with one G and it ends with an I. So it's R A G A S H A. N T I at gmail.com. You just send me an email or a text and I'll send you a link to join you know and become a member of Ragashanti TV over YouTube. Take care of you and yours, people. If you feel bad sometimes, drink a little bit of tea and clear out the crosses and thing. Remember the Christmas have come up and the new year have come up and thing. Balance up on the thing that make no depression take on. You know. Keep on the bathroom clean, keep on the kitchen clean and thing. And don't put up on the arms also and the purse you're there with. Blessings and respect. Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. Party!